What is up, guys? Vanish Cap one here. They have introduced or reintroduced Arena to the game, and it is going to be live next patch for an entire split of ranked. I'm going to go over a very fast crash course on what the the biggest new changes are for Arena, which is awesome. There's 16 players in Arena now, so we have 2v2, v2, 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 v2. There are now also prismatic items, which are like uber mythics. You know, the, the old mythics from uh, 11, 12, 13 seasons. They are like uber versions of those items, except you can only obviously have one per game, um, and they are semi-random as well, so you can't actually choose which one you get, but you can choose from a pool of the ones that you get. Um, so you can get great ones or bad ones. It's supposed to make it so it's more balanced, which I think is a good idea. Um, the one I have right here is a is a prismatic item that actually lets me summon void grubs that just kind of shit on the enemy, which is super cool. Um, new map, which is what you see me playing on here. New augments as well. Overall, it's way less predictable, way more fun. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's going to be a banger. All right, guys, here for part... Oh, Arena. Big Brain gained three shield for every one ability power at the start of the round. That doesn't seem as good as it used to be. Uh, quest Earth's Champion. 10 takedowns, reward Golden Spatula. What if I get the augment that lets me infinite stack AP, though? It's gonna be massive shield. I don't know. So, let me look at the, uh, the teams. There's a Callista. It's kind of range. I'm kind of feeling okay, Boomerang. Just to have the, the range damage spam. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. We'll see. The first team we're up against is Scion with Guardian Shroud AP and Set. So, actually, now I'm gonna bother with W. I have an Anivia on my team this game. Uh, I actually quite like the Urgot from last round, but Anivia is cool too. Her skin's really sick. That's a really awesome looking skin. She's like a pterodactyl. Oh, but yeah, having that with Leandres will definitely be useful. That means I don't have to actually just rush in and rely on that to deal damage. Try and get these guys off of us. Oh, I got one. Nice. Oh, I got kind of got out of there, but now she's in danger. So we can run over here. I'll try and grab this as well. Heal up. Then they're going to go for this over here. Let's see if I can get over here before the set gets onto it. Nope. Unlucky. All good. Just gonna cut it out, I think. Make them run to me over here so I can get to this plant. Oh, she's going back through the portal? Nice. Giga Gamer. I think we have to let this get to the end. Oh, whoops. I guess I think I'd love to get to the end, and then we can uh, maybe fling them out, but that's unfortunate right there, so. <laughs> I don't know if I can actually res her. <laughs> this is a very awkward spot. Alright, let's see what I can do. Oh my gosh! Can I stick him out, and then... No, it's unlucky, man. Unlucky. Yeah, they just kind of ran at her. I couldn't really take them off of her. I could go Rylize for her. Two random stat shards are getting AD, AP, and ability. I guess I'm just two random stat shards, right? I really don't like having uh, stat shard augments. That, that does feel kind of lame. Like, in between rounds, I really liked having augments every round. Or, like, every other round, that'd be really good, but... All good. Next round, we're against Riven and Urgot. So, there's pretty AD heavy. There is... Callista. Should I go Tabby? There's a lot of AD in this game. There's a lot, even a NASA's cane. Yeah, there's a lot of AD. This is, this is a tabby game. Or as the kids call them, seal caps now. I fucking, my, my boomer ass is gonna call him tabby forever, I don't care. I refuse change. Change makes me uncomfortable. I'm old. Uh, Urgot's hard to approach. And honestly, Singe is quite hard, like 3 6 as well. Definitely a late game oriented character, as per usual in Arena. Oh, this Riven got poked super hard. Oh, it's oh, so if you run through it, there's a cooldown on it. Interesting, okay. Like a, like a global cooldown. Okay, he's kind of trapped here. Fling him back in. They looked at focusing Nivia, but I think she gets her egg back between rounds, right? Oh, I got stunned. Plant. Grab this. And if they're gonna focus the egg, that's not that great for them because their ribbon will die here. He died midair. Okay, I can keep this guy off of the. Uh... That's rough though. Does he win in just a straight DPS contest though? If I get out of range, probably, but. Nice, let's go. It's big. 
All right, I think we're gonna win that one. So winning is good. There's also, yeah, again, the new map. I think I mentioned it last round, but it's so cool. Reality, Fracture, AD, Ability Power, 40% Attack Speed, 300 Health. Your attacks and, ab and abilities periodically summon Void Grubs to attack enemies. And abilities that... I mean, I gotta try it. You know I'm a Void Grub enjoyer. That seems... that seems really fun. The Void Grubs deal 28 match damage, which is flat 10 plus 10% AP, 5% AD, magic damage. I guess attack speed's not horrible to have. Oh, one of my random stat cards gave me crit. I just crit there. Yeah, I have 20% crit chance. The other one was 16%. No, no, I have tenacity from boots. No, it, no, I don't. Sorry. Yeah, the other one was 16% tenacity. Interesting. So crit, not a great, but tenacity is decent. So. Okay, if OK Boomerang summons Void Grubs, then I think I'm gonna. Have a great time. All right, so I want to hold my alt until after Trundle uses his. I'm gonna run away and grab this plant. Okay, here's my void grubs. Look, they kind of wasted those, but okay. he was holding it for mine as well. But no big deal. I think I just finish up this. And then they got that. Dude, the void grubs are kind of messing him up, though. Look at these grubs. They're just, they're just slapping him. My poison auto spawns them every time. Back him up in the corner. Hey, can he res the trundle if he's in his spawn? Oh, he can. Oof. Wait, no, he can't. We're chilling. Get his ass. Nice. Do the grubs. That's so cool. Wait, that's awesome. Wait, 2350 damage from grubs? Wait, this is this is the one. This is way better than the demonic embrace prismatic, I think. Dude, this is awesome. <laughs> I really like the. I, I just love void grubs like as a concept. It's so it's so fun. I just on on Summoner's Rift, I like them. Here, these are fun too. I just love the idea of having like little little pets to just throw at people, and not useless ones like Malzahar, like actual fun pets like this thing is cool. Uh, unit spam is always a very fun concept. Whenever I played StarCraft, I didn't play Zerg, which was the unit spam race. I played Terran, but I would I would play Terran like Zerg. I'd play them hyper macro oriented yeah. and you know sell SCVs and um, summon just lots of uh, the bases that had the, the mules and then use the SCV resources or the army space to just buy units. Super fun way to play the game we're against. Uh, double range, I guess. Rhylize, but... Ah, I'll go Leandries. I'll, I'll, I'll go Leandries. We'll see what happens. Morgana... Or not Morgana. Morgana is painful, but... I don't want to grief my next item buy by not having Leandries, so... I think I'll just let let my um Oh it does summon the void grubs. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, she died before she could actually get uh get her her rend off. She died in her uh Yeah, this void grub thing is crazy, by the way. This item is wild. Reality fracture. Um she died before she could even get her resurrection off, so That's super dope. I just want to watch this map forever. This map is so beautiful. The, the colors, like the artwork in this is so good. Big fan. That trundle is going to be hard to deal with for these guys now. Thankfully, I think I can just kite and let my, my reality fracture thing just maul them to death, which is cool. I could also get Rylize and then they will um, be slowed and continue to take void grub damage. So maybe Rylize actually is a good choice. I'll try it. I wanted to go Riftmaker, but uh, I'll try Rallies and just kill him with the grubs. Oh, they trapped him in the river. Oh, it's brutal. <laughs> the set playing with fire, or the Zack playing with fire there. I feel like Scion lives for so long in his uh, death state. Alright, so we're against Yone and York. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get Rallies. We'll see how this goes. Rallies is slightly nerfed from the, uh, the Rift version. This gives less AP. 15 less AP and 150 less HP, unfortunately, but should still be cool. Uh, also, I think I mentioned this last round, but in between rounds, there's a chance that you get the uh, plus 20 health per round, which is kind of cool. We go back to the full HP here if we win, because we're doing pretty okay. Yeah, this reality fracture item, man, I'm, I'm really feeling this one, the uh, the Void Grub spawn. Does Nivea have it too? Oh, no, she doesn't. She has the Intervening Locket for, uh, for heal, but my poison basically spawns it as soon as... It, it's off cooldown, which I think is super, super OP. Look at them just chomping, man. They're so cute with their weird ass teeth. All right, the main thing here is uh, a rough spawn for this. Let's just go through the portal, see what happens. 
Oh, Yone's in it. Nice. Oh, he's getting messed up. Dude, look at the grubs. Look at the grubs just killing him. Oh my god. Oh, he's pissed. Oh, my Anivia's pissed. I don't think this is going to go very well for him. I'm just going to walk over here and res her. My grubs might just kill him too. Yeah, he had to walk out of it. Can I not get to her? Wait, what's blocking me? Oh, I was minion blocked on my own void grub. That's so weird, huh? That's kind of lame. I didn't know that, that could even happen. Also, this Jin keeps shooting me. Why is he shooting me over and over, dude? I'm gonna claim racism, honestly, on that one. He shot me like eight times. Oh, here we go again. All right, that's not cool. I think I win though, because I'm gonna Yone died. Nice, let's go. Yeah, the Void Grub's definitely kind of carrying these rounds. 76 44 damage on the Void Grubs. We gained 20 HP on a Lucky Dice. I don't know what the Lucky Dice does. It just gives us better prismatics or augments? I'm not entirely sure. I think Quantum Computing, like, I. I can roll it though. Maybe I get something really even better. Three random Dragon Souls could be good. Omni Soul. I know that there's. Did the Deathfire Touch one that I really want? Slow Cooker. That one's good too. Slow Cooker, definitely a banger. I could just roll, I could just roll that one too. Let's see if I get it. Why not? Blade Waltz. Oh, Blade Waltz. Blade Waltz is the one. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like reality, reality Fracture has to be the best Singe Prismatic. It might even just be worth like griefing all of your gold to try and get it because it feels hard to lose with this item. Like one application of poison, just you perma summon Void Grubs. Seems like the play. And then I can actually blade waltz on them and spawn the void grubs while I'm blade waltzing, which is kind of nuts. You're not ulting her. You're you're gonna burn, but look at look at the grubs just beating Nasus's ass. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have 9,900 damage on Reality Fracture. Almost a thousand damage on it. Have I played in the the plant one this game? I have. All right, nice. Yeah, move speed charge for sure. That's. It doesn't matter how low it is. It's better than the other two. I already have attack speed from this item, which I'm not even really using. Zig's Volleyber. We haven't played against these two yet, have we? What does Volleyber have? All right, so let's see. He also has a reality fracture. I'm pretty sure I apply it better than him, though. And then he has Crown of the Shatter Queen for safeguard, so harder to burst. I think I just kite back onto Anivia here and we just play it that way. Yeah, mine will definitely synergize a bit better, I think, but I guess it does scale harder with AP than AD, even though he has AD items, it still scales with them. So, we'll see how it goes. I'm pretty confident, though. I think this will be okay. Then, yeah, just peel back on Anivia with Rylize. I think I just stay on her. Because the Volibear has to run through me, right? So that just seems like the, the play to make. And then just let my my Boomerang and Anivia and Lux just shoot shit at each other and Ziggs. Oh, Ziggs hit me there. I was wondering what hit me, but it was Ziggs. Cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm comfortable with this. I think this is fine. I do not hate this, honestly. Oh, I flung him in. Get him. I can't have Blade Waltz. Nice, I have Blade Waltz. Oh, he bit me. Get him, Anivia. Oh, that's a bit of a problem. Okay, I'm gonna go for the plant, actually. I actually got him. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, the Ziggs walked a little bit too close, so I just, I just yoink him. I just get him. Uh, who are we against? This is gonna be Scion and Set. Oh, it's gotta be Riftmaker, right? They don't have that much MR. What is this? Force of Entropy. 900 health, and he can immobilize to roll his crit chance to increase CC duration. Interesting. Turbo Chem Tank is just Turbo Chem Tank, it looks like. Except you also get slow resistance and a thousand health, 12% movement speed. Holy shit, that looks crazy. But the active is 50% uh, instead of 40%. Alright, I think it has to be Rift, right? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm feeling. Lasagna's could be good too. How much HP? Lasagna's 80 AP. I'll do Rift. Rift, they both have Slow Cooker. Oh shit, okay. I think I just kite back on the Nivea then, because I don't want to stand in melee range of them, right? 
And the set might just be dead, though. Yeah, he was dead. And the sign can't really. He can stay in range of us, but he's gonna die for it. Oh, yeah, it's Jover. They thought that they could just one shot her in. That, that definitely didn't work. I'm just not gonna get next to him, just let him die. Let my, let my boomerang throw, throw voidlings at him. Nice. Yeah, Rylai's killing Anivia definitely working a lot better, holy. 1250 health, but you deal 10% less damage? No. Magic Missile, it has to be one, right? Dealing damage with an ability fires three magic missiles. Because that should... Would that work with my boomerang? I'm not entirely sure. Let's see what happens. I could also just buy a stat anvil here. Might as well. I'm going to get extra stuff next turn anyways. Extra gold, so. Tenacity shard. Magic penetration shard. Attack speed shard. I think tenacity... Ah. It's lowest value. I'll go magic pen shard. Because it rolls for the value as well. There's still four teams in, though, so it's not over yet. Have to be careful. I think I just cut an Anivia. I think that's just the way to do it. Okay, nice. Yep, they're gonna hit by my my boomerang. Oh, you fucked up your flash, bud. Now you're mine. He's panicking. Get his ass. Let's go, dude. What's my reality fracture? I'm 18,000 damage with the Stego, which is the Volibear have. I can't check it yet. Because he has a 18,000. Oh, move speed shard? 12%. I mean, that has to be the one, right? What do I move speed at now? I have four for the movement speed. I have my speed modifier on this, the anvils. Can actually put 20%. Okay, cool. Nice, nice, nice. We're against... Oh, these guys have... Uh, Enchanter build Zack, but he also has some resistance. I don't know. He has double uh, double healing items, one of them being the uh, prismatic and shit, so. I don't want to walk to them. I think I just stay on here. Okay, so it looks like the flower activates when you stand on it. I can flash over the wall if I need to as well. So I'll stand over here and try to handle the boomerang. Oh, okay. Hide her out. Oh, that's a little rough. Okay. They're getting... The trouble's getting clapped by my, uh... Grublings, though. Holy shit, look at the magic missiles! What is that? What is that? Is this real? He's running! Come here, bitch! I'm gonna resonate you here. Dude, look at him getting sniped! What just happened? He's getting shit on over there! Go, Boomerang, go! Get his ass! Get his ass! Oh my god, dude. What is this? <laughs> the Voidlings and the Magic Missiles. Oh, he's healing so much, though. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. I got it. I got it. I got it. No worries. Goofling out. Miss it because I'm Minish Cap. Okay, there is a... Uh... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's how you do it with the uh, the Blade Walls because you're untargetable, right? All right, so we're against Volibear and Ziggs. How much damage is this? I have 30,000 damage on Reality Fracture. Holy shit, dude. Um, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> what is his? This is 97, 30,000 damage. <laughs> this is definitely Singe's best one for sure. I have zero doubt. All right, I want to get Cosmic Drive. And I think I just sell my um, boots here for Merc Treads, right? I mean, I don't see why I'd keep Tabby here because it's these guys. I go uh, AP juice as well. It's my magic missile damage. 67, 60, 57 of that round. Holy shit, magic missile. I don't know how I have more value than the current round because I only had it for one round, but that works. Okay, yeah, this this spawn is a little awkward. Oh, the thrash, give me a hook, buddy. Okay, this guy out a bit. Okay, I guess we can just focus the Volibear, right? I'm not actually opposed to that. If the Zig's gonna kite me, which I'm kinda trapped in here, but. Oh, I shouldn't have Blade Walls to the Volibear? Let's see if we can kill this guy. Not flash, but. Wait, he got a Lantern from Thresh? Oh, he got it from me too, actually. Let's get this guy off of an idiot then. I need to go for the plant here and get my ult back up. I think that's what I have to do. Kite, kite, kite. 
Ziggs is walking in, get his ass. Nice, he's dead. Fling this guy out. I don't know if I can actually stop him from killing here, though. I'm gonna save my goo. To make good, get a good goo fling. Uh, I miss my goo fling because I'm in a trap, and that's what I do. I don't have blade walls for three. If I can get it off, I win. No, rip, dude. Oh my gosh. Okay. That is unfortunate. I need to get the zig somehow. Your flash has ammo. Three ammo on a two-second cooldown. I mean, that's the one. That's the one. I can just get on zigs with this. That's the one. That's the one. All right. Thirty-seven thousand damage on the artifact for that. I think I sell Rylize and just get Riftmaker, or uh, actually Crypt Bloom. I might never mind. I don't have enough gold. Okay. We we definitely just go for that guy though. Now, I'll I'll save some flash charges too, but I I think maybe can fend for herself. Use this one early. Bring him out. Get his ass nice, then we just peel the volleyer off of him the entire time. Can we go plant down here? But look at my magic missiles just smacking it. Oh my goodness. What even is that? <laughs> it is definitely procking on every tick. I think it's I think what it's doing, it's procking on every tick of poison. And every tick of the Void Grubs, too. It might also be proccing every tick of Landers as well, because that was insane how many times that was, that was proccing. Holy hell, like, look at this. It's like an actual machine gun of magic missiles. I don't know if this is intended or not, but... Might be best in slot augment. You definitely have to get some items, I guess, for it to be good. Because if you don't have Landers, it's not going to get you the extra tricks. If you, don't have, if you don't have reality shatterer thing, the Void Grub thing, it's not going to proc on that either. But, like, look at this. It also just deletes his Void Grubs really fast, which is awesome. Oh my gosh, man. <laughs> it's just annihilating him. It's like a, like, like you know, the, the Sam missiles? Oh my god, man. That's nuts. All right, let's see. I had 68,000 yards that round. All right, cool. Uh, Very fun, guys. Very fun arena update that they've made. Doing some of the new arena it is back on pbe is live next patch i believe but doing some of the the new arena it is revamped arena they've made a bunch of changes the biggest there is 16 players in one game now that's right 16 players uh let's choose one of these augments i'm immobilizing enemy champions restores two percent maximum health infernal soul i think like infernal soul is good I don't want to re-roll these. I want to say re-rolls for the new, the new uh, hotness, which is going to be prismatic items. Uh, this game is going to be There's a lot of vagars in this game and a lot of AP. But the new hotness is prismatic items, which are like supercharged mythic items, which you only can get a randomized selection of from a limited pool of like three of them per game, which is which is going to prevent them from being super repetitive and super OP. Uh, I can just wait for her ghost to be down before I walk up, right? I could also just flash fling it, but... Oh, I knew that was a play, yeah. Get her, Urgot. Oh, you smack me these turrets, though. Do we get her? We get her, and then we can run down the uh, Heimer, I believe, right? I'm gonna poison through his turrets, though. See if I can kill them. And the Infernal Soul's doing a bit of work for me here. Oh, he's kiting around, he's kiting around. They killed him, though. Alright, let's go. Pretty sick flash fling by me. But there is... A bunch of new changes here for the oh, oh. A, a bunch of changes. One of the, the new map right there as well. There's an arena map. It looks awesome. You can only cross the river whenever the plant in the middle is is uh, alive, which is super cool. And then it traps you in these little these little chambers on the sides, little islands on the side, and forces you to fight basically. Or you can split up as well and just wait it out. The, the spiky map has some new layout to it. Uh, this map, I fucking hate this map, but it's back as well, unfortunately. <laughs> um, I'm not really fond of this map either. I, I like that, that new map looks so cool though. Uh, two random stat bonus shards. Their average strength at 170% is their average strength. Move speed shard, 9.6% move speed. I mean, that's the shard to take, right? Yeah, you get shards as augment choice as well, which is really cool. Um, 
Like I said, though, this game, I am going to be going Merc Treads. I just don't think that there is a different boot to go this game because they have Lilia, they have a Vagar, uh, they have a Silas, they have a Mordekaiser, a Zyra, Heimerdinger, another Vagar over there. I think it's going to be Merc Treads for me. Uh, I think that is basically the way I have to go. I'm going to check if the Leandries in this actually gives damage amp. It does give damage amp, and then Riftmaker gives damage amp as well. So I might just go Leandries Rift and then play the rest of the items by ear because I think I just want damage amp. Uh, everyone seems to be kind of spamming Enchanter builds, so damage amp seems to be... A good spot to be, but the prismatics are a limited pool of of random like uber tier items are super cool. Oh, 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 oh. oh, he actually has um. Play him off that. I think one of them has a uh, dragon, uh, elder dragon, or infernal dragon soul as well. For one of their buffs, or God's gonna give me these. Very nice. Bring him back in here. I think we killed him here. Very nice. And kill this guy, hopefully. Oh, the double fling. The double CC. Very nice. You know, Urgot seems pretty cracked, hey? It's like a pretty strong combo. Uh, you also have these anvils, by the way, which is another way, to, another way to get prismatic items outside of just getting them between rounds through your, um, through your, uh, shard, or your, um, augment system or whatever. You can gain them through buying anvils. So anvils are these things you can buy. You can buy a stat anvil. You get a choice of semi-random stat boosts. You can buy a legendary uh, anvil. There's one for each tier class of champion, which gives you a semi-random selection of legendary mage items and then, or, or whatever class you are. And there's prismatic, which gives you a selection of semi-random prismatic items as well for 3750 gold. Uh, and the average gold value efficiency or whatever is 5,000 for uh, prismatic items. So if you want to get one of those, you can pay 3750 for potentially getting a a big return on it, which is cool. Uh, Demonic Embrace, uh, 70, it doesn't have the burnout anymore. You can you can activate it to get movement speed, then you get more AP the lower health you are. I, I don't hate it. And I don't think I actually have a better choice here. Although, the Frost Queen might not have been too bad for some of the more ranged oriented comps. I, I think with the speed boost, I can make this one work, so. Put it on my three key. That is my speed boost one. Let's go for the uh, the Vagar here, right? I think that's the, that's the play. Okay, they're gonna kite back. We, we have to wait up the cage, I think, and then we can go. The cage is down. I'm gonna walk into the sun willingly because I'm really smart. Okay, yeah, you can activate it and get your uh, get your AP up really fast, which is kind of cool. And it's super short cooldown as well. Oh, I fucked up. I think he's oh he's dead though nice let's go okay that was smart he pulled the he pulled the Garen's uh, respawn thing away from the Vagar there which is really cool oh res me res me I believe in you Urgot oh he's got it oh he's got it he's a gamer I should have flashed that but I think Vagar is dead very nice this Garen might be a problem though if he can get his hands on that uh, plant anything is possible. Or even like fling the Garen off. No, nope, right. that's okay. Singed is very, very late game oriented in, in arena game mode, so similar to what it was before. Man, this map looks so cool, the new one. I absolutely love this. I love the color scheme, I love the layout, I love how it traps you on the sections of the of the, the map whenever the flower goes down. It's so cool. I hope I get to play on it so I can show you guys. Um, so what team are we against? We're against Master Yi and Lilia next round, so think it's just gonna be what are Riftmaker stats is it worth it to go this before Leandries probably not although demonic embrace gives me four percent per 300 missing health ability power and this uh Riftmaker gives me bonus health as ability power and demonic embrace is 600 bonus health this is 350, so fuck it I'll try it it, it has like a kind of a cool healing healing synergy too with each other, where I get lower and get more AP from Demonic, and then I get high, I get higher health from Riftmaker. I can also just pop the uh, Demonic and just make my health go lower if I want more AP in the moment as well. But I think for the most part, I just leave it up. Head it out, head it out, head it out, head it out, head it out. I'm getting ulted. Oh, he got, he, oh, he got chewed though. Oh, he got chewed. Ah, oh, rip. Oh no, he trapped himself away from my from my res. Okay, but she's not on him either. Okay, he can res me and she can't res the E. She flashed over it. Oh, I'm scared. She's healing a lot. 
Okay, I think he's dead. This is really scary though. Oh, damn. What does she have? So she has the Innervating Locket, which gives you a shield whenever people cast abilities near you. I need to get to my my hyperlink game state ASAP. At least we have 60 health left, which is good. I'll get Leandries here. So now I have the uh, double uh, double amplification as well for my damage, which is really good. I need that. This round, also, there's a new gimmick between rounds. Sometimes, you, if you, it'll say if you win a round, you get plus 20 HP on lucky dice. I'm not sure what lucky dice even is. What is lucky dice? It is not in the shop, so I assume it just gives you like something random. Is it dice? I'm not sure what it is. You can earn that. Uh, some of their goals with this arena, by the way, was to make things like less predictable. Which I, th I think worked out. Also, I gotta say the the new shop area looks so cool. And I love like those super bright colors they've used. It kind of some people think that the super bright coloring is obnoxious. I like super bright colors and colorful colors. This is me. I wish that they had gotten rid of these cameos, honestly, but that's okay. Not everything's perfect. I got to Leanne. Okay, Demonic Embrace doing work. I'm gonna pop it and run away again. Nice, let's go. Yeah, you can really spam your Demonic Embrace and just like go fast because that's a super low cooldown, right? So I can just hit it like this over and over and go faster and faster. You gotta be careful though. You cannot, you cannot actually uh, kill yourself with this in game. Actually, you cannot actually get yourself below zero and despawn yourself. I guess is one way to say it. You have to 80 health from that, damn. Uh, but you can put yourself at zero and die instantly if you get hit by anything. So deal more damage to enemies the faster. Oh no, black shield, black shield. This game for sure. That is the augment because we are gonna get CC locked instantly by basically the entire map, uh, especially. Brand and Swain, who are going to be quite annoying to deal with. And then Swain does not have Leandris. This is a Rift Maker. What is his his prismatic? is called Cruelty, which is like a Arcane Comet type thing. And then Dragon Heart is what Brand has. She gives him a bunch of stats. Every two rounds, gain a Dragon Soul. If you already have every Elemental Soul, an Ancient Power awakens. An Ancient Power. Interesting. Okay, let's see how this goes. I'm going to charge at them because I have a. Uh, Have, I had the black pill, I should say. Oh, I got that one. Nice. Let's go. I need to separate the Swain from the brand, but oh, God, that's rough. Can I kill? He might. He might die here. Very nice. I'm gonna try and get my. Get my Urgot up. Okay, Urgot, get his ass. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. I only used my Demonic Embrace one time that game. The active for uh, movement speed, but that worked out. Wow, that was kind of hairy. And they were the first place team, too. Alright, one of the teams is out. That's good. Ability haste shard, health shard, or... The health shard is actually at max value. That one might just be worth taking because I just need it. Although, MR shard for 17 MR... Nah, it's health shard, right? But what if I roll and get a move speed shard? Two random shards? Yeah, whatever. Let's see, let's see what happens. What did I get? I got a, hell, a 238 health shard, so an Omni Vamp, 9.5%. Okay, yeah. Health plus Omni Vamp is better than just getting health, right? I'll take it. We were against Alawi and Mordekaiser here. I want to say we win, but whoever gets ulted by Mordekaiser is going to have a hard time. Alawi's has Overlord's Blood Mail. Mordekaiser has Night Harvester, which is, I think, the same as Old Night Harvester. Just stronger, right? So... Oh, okay. I got some damage on him, though. Run away from Alawi here. Run away from our alt. Now I'll take this. Yeah, my Urgot's kind of tanked that guy out in there. Then we're going to CC lock and just kind of demolish the Alawi. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can find this guy. Oh, he's over here. I see you, Mordekaiser. Run at you again. Run at you again. Oh, I don't think so, bud. Good luck. Never mind, he's going to kill me. <laughs> Alright, Urgot, it's up to you, bud. I kind of messed up there. I think he has ult back up that fast, but he did get his, um... Wait, he's... Oh, he's... I guess not paying attention? Nice, good game. Or good run, I should say. I forgot that you get so much TDR from hitting plants, so that was my bad. Team Scuttle has been eliminated. 
All right, who are we against next? We're against Silas and Darius. We are currently in first place, so. I'm kind of just thinking I go like Crypt Bloom. Because the moment that we kill one, we're gonna heal so much, right? And then, uh, they don't have MR, but I feel like it's worth it. Although Cosmic Drive would be super cracked as well. It would make it very hard for Darius to get on me. Hmm. I could also just buy Prismatic. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm I'm feeling Crypt Bloom, and then I'll I'll go last item Prismatic, or even go for um, Cosmic Drive as well. Both are good here, I think. I think even just for raw DPS, this item is always worth it. Yeah, I wish they had gotten rid of these uh, random events. I'm not a huge fan of those. Those are pretty cringe, honestly. But okay, to stay in the center so he can't get the uh, the multi heal. These guys are getting clapped. Oh my lord. And the Crypt Bloom heal. And it's just... Oh, they got... They got eaten. They got chewed up. Alright, Swain Brand. And Lilia Yi. This will be annoying. Blade Waltz is definitely the play. Untargetable because of Master Yi. That is absolutely the play. Yes, sir. If I sell this, any other item? Not quite yet. Yeah, that's absolutely the play, though. They sell the juices as well. I gotta say, there is the variation on this mode of arena definitely does feel good. You, it never feels like you're playing against the same team over and over, at least so far. It's my first game of arena, so. Alright, Lilia Yi. The Yi has Fulmination, which is Energized Spam. Uh, he has Gwinsu's Hellfire Hatchet, which does max HP, current HP. He has Warm Up Routine as well, so we should probably just get in there and fight. I need to use my. Um, I need to use my Blade Waltz defensively because he's going to try and clap me. Oh, that is unfortunate. He's so hard to kill, dude. <laughs> That's okay. No worries, no worries. I have confidence that Swain Brand can kill them. I don't know if we can. But maybe they can. M-Pen Shard plus 12 M-Pen? I don't really like these. I also don't want to like waste a roll. This ability haste shark could be good for flings, right? Let's go and pen shard, see what happens. I maybe needed to save my blade waltz a bit longer there, although Lilia makes things pretty difficult. Okay, we're against uh Vagar Garen here. I think we can beat these guys. Although they're positioning. Like if you're with this arena, I don't like it, because if you're on the bottom half of the arena, you have such a big advantage, I think. Oh, Jesus, dude. Okay, Crippling proc, very nice. Oh, he was on top of him and his ult didn't go off. That's really odd. Okay, can I actually res this? I don't know if I can. I think I just focus on the res then. Or he just one-shots me. Yeah, that, that absolutely works, too. That's so obnoxious, man. <laughs> Alright, Argon, I believe. I believe. Oh, man. Okay, unlucky, unlucky. Unlucky. That was fun, though. I mean, yeah, I don't like that map. That that map is really stupid. That map shouldn't be... Like, they need to make it more even. Like, all of the other maps, they feel pretty even. But, like, when you spawn on the top side of that map, you have to run through chokes to get to the enemy, and they can just kind of wait for you. Which feels really bad. I don't like that. So hopefully they end up changing that map, but that was a pretty decent round one. I'll give you guys a round two. Thanks for watching.